In this Blender Polygon Modeling tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model this little block. It has a right angle cutout and a hole in the middle. This requires a couple different techniques to be able to make it look good when modeling from a basic cube. So let's get started in Blender with the default cube. Here I have the cube and I'm in object mode. If I left click this cube, then I can press tab and I can change into edit mode. I'll zoom in a bit. I'm going to go ahead and right click and click subdivide. And then down here in the bottom left, I have options. For this, I only need one cut, so I can just click anywhere. I'll press three to get in the face mode. So now I can click these faces. I'll shift click both of these faces, press middle mouse button to orbit a bit, and then I'll press E to extrude. I can pull this any distance I want, but I can also type in a default value of 2.5. So now I have this extended out another 2.5. But 2.5 what? In Blender, the units are default as meters. So each one of these boxes is one meter. As long as you think in whatever units you want to use, that's fine. You can always scale it by a scale factor later. If you want to change the units, you can do that by going to the scene settings and then clicking on units. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at one scale here, but you could change this scale if you wanted to work in centimeters. If I press A, then it selects everything and I can press G, then Z. Now I'm only moving in the Z direction and then I can just type one and it'll move it up one unit or one meter. So now I have this sitting on the ground plane. So let's go ahead and see what else we need to do to make it look like the demo block. The next thing is to add some edge loops around this section. So if I press Control R, it brings up the edge loop tool. Notice how if I hover around different places, it wants to make an edge loop that is perpendicular. If I hover my mouse and before clicking, I rotate the scroll wheel, I can add more or less edge loops. In this case, I want to add three and then click one more time to keep them centered. Next, I want to add another edge loop, but this time right here. If you accidentally move this left and right, you can hold the control key to lock and snap back into the center. I'll press control R one more time, click and click. Now I have enough edge loops to support the geometry for the hole in the middle. If you press three, that'll take you into face mode. And then I can shift click all four of these faces, right click, loop tools, circle. If you don't have loop tools, make sure you go to edit, preferences, add-ons, then type loop and check this box. While these faces are still selected, press X and delete the faces. Orbit around to the bottom of the block, shift click these four faces on the bottom, right click, loop tools, circle, X to delete, faces. Now we need to bridge the gap between the two. If I press two, I get edge mode. If I hold the option or alt key, I can click and it selects the entire loop. I can orbit down to the bottom, hold shift in the alt or option key, and then I can select that entire loop. If I right click, then if I go to bridge edge loops, it creates a bridge in between these edge loops. We're getting pretty close. If I go over to the modifier stack and I add a modifier, generate subdivision surface, and I give it two, it is not looking so great. It's kind of deformed. What we need to do is add some holding edges around the different pieces of geometry. I'm going to go ahead and fix the circle first. So I'm going to turn this off so I don't see it right now, so it's not distracting. I need to add a bevel around this circle. If I press two for edge mode and then hold shift and I click all of these edges, and then I orbit to the bottom and I hold shift and click all of these edges. Then I can press Command B or right click bevel edges. Click anywhere and it brings up a dialog box. We want to make sure there's two segments on the bevel. And then our width, we can type 0.1. And then notice how it is beveled. It's kind of changing the shape by having this chamfer. You can change that with the shape of the bevel. So you can have more of a bevel or no bevel or chamfer. So this 
is kind of like adding a loop around the shape right here so it's completely flat. This is the best way for adding a holding edge around an interior circle geometry like this in Blender. If I off click, this is gonna look a lot better. If I tab into object mode, right click and shade smooth, notice that that looks pretty good on the circle, but we still have all this deformed geometry going around the outside of this object. So how can we fix that? I'm gonna press tab again, and again, I'll turn off this modifier so I don't see it. And notice how we have all this strange gradient. Just tab back into object mode, right click and shade flat. Tab back into edit mode, and now it's a lot easier to see. Now, while you're in edge mode by pressing two, if you hold the option or alt key, you can select full edges but then they disappear. So you need to hold Option and Shift, then I can just start collecting all of these edges. Then I'm gonna orbit around to the other side. Before you click, make sure you hold Shift and Option, or Alt, so you get all of the edges. Continue to select all the edges, double check the back. Very easy to miss this edge on the back. Orbit around to make sure you have all of these edges selected. Then you can go ahead and press Command or Control B or right click Bevel Edges. Click anywhere on the screen to bring up the menu. Once again, for our width, we'll do 0.1, Segments 2, and then we want to make sure the shape is all the way up to 1. Now, if I go ahead and turn back on that subdivision surface, this holds its edge a lot better. If I tab out into object mode, right click shade smooth, here we have a much better object that is holding its edges. And that's because we have the modifier and all of those bevels on the object. So hopefully this allows you to make this object using blender, bevels, and the subdivision surface modifier. Happy 3D modeling.